Hey, welcome back to The Pew, y'all. Since our show's mantra is where faith is unfiltered, we're gonna keep it real about an issue of equality and humanity. In June of 2016, a horrible person didn't see the humanity in or desire equality for all people. You know, fueled by an extreme and hateful version of his faith and perhaps other emotional issues, he went into a club in Orlando, Florida and killed over 50 people. Cass, it's something we need to talk about and it's something that we need to chime in on. What are your thoughts? It's a, th this is a, it's a problem not only among humanity, but it, it, it spreads into our religions the way we worship. Right. Wow. So the, this man was, was Muslim and he was attacking people based on their sexual orientation. Right. But a lot of times you take the flip side of that, Christians are attacking uh, the Islamic faith and we worship the same God. The only difference is in how we do it and our... our uh, is Allah and no. Yahweh depends, the same God? It depends on what, what type of Muslim you are. There's several types of Muslims, so we all don't worship the same God. Mike. Yeah, no. but, but the, point, no. the point that we want to stay on track, of course, yes, religion or, or distorted religion was certainly behind it, right? But where is, where is the care for what God created? Where is the love for his creation? Yeah, let me say something, because this issue has... I've been upset since June about this. I don't know about you guys, but... I actually spent a couple hours crying over this one day because I was so upset. I have, I have a dear friend of mine who's a homosexual. Right. Been friends for 20 years. Um, and listen, I, I don't care what your sexual orientation is. I don't care what, how you were raised, what your color is, what you believe or what you don't believe. Life has value. That's yeah. right. And nobody deserves to be killed in cold blood no one. for any reason. Right. So we can talk about religion all we want to, but the bottom line is if we spend more time talking about the value of human life, right. Maybe the next person who grew up in an unhealthy religious situation might think twice before they pull the trigger and steal it from somebody who's worth loving. And what's most amazing is when you hear God-fearing people or church people say that this was God's retaliation on the gays and the homosexuals. Oh, mm. And I feel like, you know, I've heard well, my pastor we... say many times, you know, if God really wanted to retaliate, you know, based upon the sins of this world, yeah, would he actually gone. have to start there? Why couldn't he start, there, you know, himself. where, 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 where could he, he could start gone. anywhere. Yeah. But you know, what's also unfortunate too, was there were a lot of people who were upset by women who learned that the men that they were dating were perhaps on the down low and were inside this club yeah. and were victims of it as well. And I know in Atlanta, which is oh. a hub for a lot of down low men, mm -hmm. some people saw it as justice as well. Unfortunately, that's the way some people saw it as well. Well, to, to me, Jaquetta, if, we, if, if for those that see it that way, then to me, this could run over into Black Lives Matter. Well, I mean, it could run over into all types of uh, other, I mean, injustice is injustice, right. you know, and segregation and racism is racism. All of these things exist. And so whatever a person's sexual preference is, all of us have our own beliefs. Everybody mm -hmm. has their own mm -hmm. belief. And just because I may not believe or agree with a person's sexuality gives me no right to Absolutely decide whether right. or not they still have a choice to be on earth or they let have me, the right to be on earth. Let, let me share this. You know, I'm, I'm a straight man who's, who questioned my sexuality for quite a while. I had to deal with this issue myself. And I just want to say to the LGBTQ community, thank you for being the unique expression of God that you are. For, for you know, brightening up my life, because I have a lot of friends in, in this community who have supported me, have been there for me, have been the love of Christ, have been the love of God, who have shown me what it means to love and accept others. So thank you for being your unique self. Continue to be yourself, Can please. Can I ask a question? You said you were curious, or you questioned your sexuality? For, uh, there was a while where I had, had questioned through things because I was dealing with all types of emotional ups and downs at one point. So you, I actually went through a, a couple treatment centers at one point. Taylor, so you questioned I whether or not you were gay? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, Man, I did huge. question whether or not I was gay. I did. Okay. I did. Taylor, that yeah. is huge, man. I'll be honest with that. I'm not afraid people. to say that because I know who I am and I stand with you know, who I know I am in Christ as a whole valued human being, if as we, a child of God, man, just like I, you are, everyone is. And yeah. let me say this, let me say this, folks. I think the, I think the challenge is that we try to play God, right? Oh that my we, God, oh my we God. We try to act like exactly. we're exactly. God and say, we, can, we can render the judgment, Eddie. right? Like we can we can say your particular fault or your or, or what is it supposedly a fault? Or your sin. We're, yes. go, we're going to judge it, yes, yes, no? Everyone comes to the foot of the cross equal, That's right. Right. equally wow. sinful, right. and we rise from the cross equally saved. That's right. Period. Yeah, that's period. Right. But right. people don't see homosexually homosexuals that way. It's almost like homosexuality and its 
whatever is judged over here, right. but fornication but with and, the sin, and, but, and but anything the, else is kind of over it. here. But, the, but if you're gay, because, then you need to immediately go to hell. Wow. But the sin that, hold on, hold on. The sin that we're talking about here, folks, is the sin of the of the atrocity of this murder, right? right. And right. what we need to really right. understand here right. is that we're all fearfully and we're wonderfully made. Right. And we need to be a people Amen. who walk in equality and a people who walk in love. We'll be back. Mm -hmm.